So today is my birthday, finally. Waited all year for this. <laughs> oh, we got a case of the bumpy bumps today. So Randy has something planned. Oh! Blame Randy for that one. Or me, I don't know. I don't know. Something happened. Oh, scratch now. Oh, crap. There. It's been a little while before we get out of this mess. Oh, crap. <laughs> Driving with no hands. Isn't that dangerous? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Randy has plans and I'm going along with them. So, today is going to be adventurous, to say the least. Huh. Yeah, I'm good. Maybe I should turn the camera off. We're just sitting here, not doing anything. Can't wait for traffic to move. Woohoo! Oh, oh, right. I wanted to show you Randy's car. Hang on. So we ended up at Dairy Queen. We got some blizzards. What's that? Wow. Well, you just, you have very clean and you said blizzards? Never mind. So, anyway, Randy got two blizzards uh, for the both of us. They're caramel blizzards. I don't know if I've ever tried that before, but yeah, it's worth it. And I forgot my aluminum straw. I should have brought it, but I didn't know we were coming here. So, ah. So I got to put up with their stupid paper straws. I hope I can get more, grab a few of them, if I can. Uh, maybe not. They don't seem to have them. Not even by the drink machine. Oh well. So, we ended up in the echoey part of Birds Hill Park. And coincidentally, Birds Hill Park was named after a family of birds. That was their last name. And they owned some property around the area. So it got named after them. Randy and I just thought it was just a bunch of birds on a hill. And say, hey, there's a good name for it. Who knew it was named after a real person? Anyway. No, he's not. He's emptying out a bottle. Yeah. Speaking of bottles, I found this. X Prime. I think it's got a pink bubblegum flavor to it. It's got to. But it doesn't say anywhere what kind of flavor it is. So that is my estimate. That is my guess. If you see this anywhere, buy it, drink it. Let me know if it tastes like pink bubblegum to you. So yeah, we're on the way back to the car now. Just hanging out. For a couple hours doing whatever talking about stuff ah, things that would bore you so I didn't turn on the camera uh, we're headed back to the car which usually means we're headed back to my place which usually means Randy's going home so I don't think we'll be doing anything else today I'm not sure but if we end up doing something, I'll let you know. Oh, right. I wanted to show you the inside of the car, the whole dashboard thing and everything. And it's starting to get dark. 
So maybe we will hang out for a little bit more. Wait till it gets dark and do that. Because I know Randy wanted to do that when it got dark. So there he is over there. Walking around the cars. Oh, it's a Jeep. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so this is the dashboard. He's got like there. Is that speedometer digital too? Yeah. So you can pull up a little menu here, which is cool. Can you watch movies on it? No. Oh, come on. That would be so cool. No. So cool, like make this like a DVD drive, right? Like the radio there, you put a DVD in there, you watch a little movie right there, and nobody knows. Nobody knows, right? Because you're still keeping an eye on the road, and you can still see the, the little screen in the dashboard at the same time, right? And I think that car right there was involved in a police chase and it ended in a pit maneuver because the whole bumper's missing. And the, and, the, and the cop grabbed the bumper instead of moving the car and it just ripped the bumper off. He's probably still running from the cops. Who knows? But that's what that looks like. Anyway, and then you got the rest of the radio here. And then we found out that that phone button pairs his phone with his with his vehicle, so he can do he pushes a button on his steering wheel, answers the phone, and then he doesn't have to touch his phone while he's driving, so that's safe. And then he's got a little clock that displays. And what else comes up? A little menu thing where you can change stuff. That's cool. And you're going 91 miles an hour? Kilometers. 92 kilometers an hour? Oh, kilometers, okay. You know, I kind of feel like we're Thelma and Louise from ah. whatever movie that they were in. Thelma you and know Louise. That, yeah, yeah, you know that movie they were in though with Brad Pitt? Yeah. What was it called? Thelma and Louise. No, those were the characters, but what was the movie? Thelma and Louise. That's what it was called. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of Are you called? sure? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. What I don't know where it was called. I know, I know Brad Pitt was in it. Yeah. Oh. Look it up on Internet Movie Database. What's that? IMDB. What does that mean? That, you don't know what Internet Movie Database is? I have no clue. Every actor, every movie, every producer, everything every, ever made in movies and TVs on that thing. Oh, it's, a search it's like Wikipedia? Yeah, for, for movies and TV. I know what that is. <laughs> That's where I go for all of my good stuff. Okay. To check out movies and do research on them. I know what IMBD, BD, BBD is. IMBD. Ow! Why do you do that? I'm gonna do you again. Holy crap! Oh man, you did it again! It's like every time we go through an intersection, you just gotta just step on the gas and make my phone go flying across the whole car. <laughs> like seriously, man, it's my birthday! <laughs> That's comedy, you can't even write. <laughs> I'm not gonna write that, it'll take too much time. Ha <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, is that funny? <sighs> so how's your day? <laughs> You're having a fucking accident, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> it's either gonna be an accident on the road, or an accident on his seat. Oh, shit. That too. But yeah. Oh, man. So yeah, so we're just like riding around stuff, doing whatever. But this car is just amazing. 
amazing. Good space in it. What's this button for? I have no idea. Okay, I'm I, not going to touch I, it. I tried pressing it. it There's a button right here. Right, uh, right there. That I can't. Hang on. I can do this proper there. <laughs> Better angle. This button right here. Randy said he tried pushing it and everything. He can't figure out what it is. I'm not going to touch it in case it's an injector seat. And this guy does not have a sunroof. So that's going to hurt. Well, that's it for today. My birthday. Yay me. Ah, honestly, I don't feel any older. You're supposed to feel a year older, but I don't for some reason. Now I gotta fi find out or figure out how to make room for this bottle on this shelf because I've got the guitar here, and then I got the Pokeball, and I got the root beer bottle, and then I got a tank, and then I got a Coca Cola bottle or a Coca Cola can with Deadpool on it, and then a Stormtrooper. Maybe I'll get rid of the Stormtrooper. All right, and put that over here on my desk. And then move the Coke over, move the tank over, move the root beer, move the Pokeball, move the guitar, and there we go. There's perfect room for it right there and those are all of my primes one two three four five six seven eight nine nine primes and counting <laughs> my goal is to just cover the entire half wall with prime bottles and if i get too much that won't fit on the half wall then I'll start buying shelves and putting them on the shelves and filling those up with prime bottles yeah and then the half wall I'll start putting my Funko Pops on and I only need a hundred and fifty of them to go around the entire half wall so over there where my Star Wars stuff is and then all these cans and everything and yeah so I would have to clear all of that, right? Take the bottles, put them on shelves, and then do the whole Funko Pop thing. And I need 150 of them to go all the way up to the, to the ceiling, right? And then maybe 300 and do like a double wall, right? So if you're looking at it from this side, you see all the Funko Pops. And then when you look at it from inside my bedroom, you see a whole bunch of Funko Pops facing outward, right? So I get 300 Funko Pops and put them all up doubly, right? So they're facing out on either side and they're all different. Like every single one of them would be different. I don't know. That's just an idea. That's only if I live here long enough to do that. But I want to get the primes to go all the way around first, right? That's my first goal. To get enough primes to go all the way around the entire entire half shelf there or half wall that is my bedroom <laughs> but yeah it'll take a while but i'm determined to do it it'll be fun though too so however long that takes and then however long the funko pop thing takes who knows? I mean, I'll probably be here the rest of my life anyway. And as we know, it's a long, long time.